This story is about a 35-year-old Korean-American woman named Christina Yuna Lee. Bright future ahead of her, and on Sunday morning at 4.30, she was stabbed 40 times by a man who was living in a homeless shelter nearby who followed her up to her apartment. I usually say alleged on this one. I'm not even sure if alleged applies because he was caught inside the apartment, covered in blood, hiding. Her neighbor across the hall reported hearing her screaming for help and called the police. When the police knocked on the door, according to the district attorney who read this at the arraignment, he faked a woman's voice and said, no, no, we don't need any help here. Then when they continued to bang on the door, he tried to run out the fire escape they had the light on him out there. He ran back in. And when they broke the door down, he was hiding under the bed. She was stabbed 40 times and laying dead in the bathtub. When I arrived at the scene, I just grabbed the first person I saw at the scene who was standing out in front of the building, smoking a cigarette. And it was the owner of the building. Not that I knew that at the time. And he wasn't interested in talking to me or talking to anyone. I kept trying to get him to talk about what was going on. After a while, he kind of broke down a little bit and told me what was happening. And while he was telling me what was happening, it became pretty obvious to me anyway, pretty quickly, that he was describing it as though he was hovering above the scene, watching everything happen. You know, he described the man leaning up against the building, watching her get out of the cab. He described the man following her in. After him telling me basically what happened, I asked him, how do you know that? Did you actually watch this play out? And he said, no, I'm, I'm the owner of the building and I know we have cameras on every floor. He watched what happened after it had happened. I said, I, I really, I, I need to see that video. And he was like, not amenable to that at all. And when I told the owner of the building, people need to see this, they need to see this, if only to wake some people up to, hey, look over your shoulder, you know, look who's around before you unlock that door and go into your building. Or, you know, make sure you slam that door behind you when you look around and see people lingering around looking at you. Or just to be more aware, not to walk around in this condition like nothing can happen to you. Because here's an example, it's not true. It can happen to you. And I made that clear to him and it kind of landed. He understood what I was talking about. He believed that, you know, maybe it was important for people to see this video. And that seemed to make sense to him. So he went back in the building and he got those videos together and he sent them to me. If anybody's wondering who the victims are gonna be, it's the defenseless, the weak. These people are not coming after six foot four, 280 pound guys. They're following home 108 pound defenseless women. Crime is being batted around right now in politics. They're making it kind of like a, you know, a hot potato political issue. And none of that interests me at all, to be frank. What interests me is my city, the people who live in my city, my neighbors, and this is what I'm seeing. Don't forget to click subscribe so you can follow along on the post stories that I'm covering today.